the Union and the Union Club Hotel serve as a major hub at Purdue. From weddings to conferences to lunch with friends, the building has a little bit of everything. It has been a landmark on campus that is known for still being the way it was back then, with all of the modern conveniences students want and need. The first part of the Union was built in 1924, making this year its 90th anniversary. However, the hotel is not far behind. As part of the 1929 edition, a wing was added that started the hotel. The main Union building opened in 1924, but additions were underway to the building pretty much right away and the first wing of uh, 60 hotel rooms uh, was one of those and it opened in 1929. Although the building may be old, both the hotel and the union keep up to date through renovations. These come in different forms from changing a couple things to making a major change. To keep in, uh, in tune with what's uh, more current in this industry, uh, we've started uh, renovations now where you do more of a, what we call a pop to the room where you, you, you do a number of things all at the same time. Other parts of the Union are purposefully left in their original style. The Union is built in the Gothic Revival style, and between the arches and the stained glass, many people consider the Union and the Union Club Hotel to be a campus icon. You see the uh, south facade of the Union on, on many university uh, uh, publications, website, those kinds of things. Um, I think the architecture itself, the, um, the uh, Gothic Revival architecture of the Union is very, uh, very well received. Again, Pond and Pond were the architects from Chicago. They also did University of Michigan and Michigan State University. The Union remains a landmark on campus to this day. In addition to the Union's fame, some notable Purdue alumni have frequented the Union Club Hotel over the years. We, we have had uh, the first one that kind of comes to mind, Orville Redenbacher, the, the popcorn king, uh, has stayed here. A number of the astronauts uh, uh, have stayed here many times, and in fact, it looks like we'll be working with an astronaut reunion coming up here in just a couple of weeks. Other than famous alumni, many other groups use the union and the hotel over the course of a year. Conferences, alumni, departments on campus, and even wedding parties use the Union. I think it's the mission of the Union. Um, it means a lot of things to a lot of different people. I mean, we are a hotel, we are a caterer, we are uh, a conference center. We do have a, a bowling area and billiards area, and you know, we have lounges for students. But the, the heart of it is community building. That's really what, uh, what this Union's mission is. Community building includes preparing some students for the future. The Union Club Hotel has partnered with Hospitality and Tourism Management to create a lab experience in addition to their internship program that was already in existence. For Kelsey St. John, this means working at the Union once a week for three hours, gaining valuable insight into her future career. So far I like it and um, it's just, it's interesting to learn and like think, oh this is what I could be doing. The Union presents a look into history and tradition while looking forward to the future. It is a bridge between new and old, student and alum, the public and the university. For Fast Track, I'm Lewis Day.